Hello my dear family members, if you are preparing for TCS NQT 2026 and if you want to get through the TCS NQT 2025 questions and if you don't know what chapters you should give importance more, what should you prioritize more, then let me just discuss all of these questions in this video, okay? Now, just before that guys, please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any component you want and let me know which content do you want more if you want me to discuss TCS NQT questions, aptitude questions or like quants questions or if you want me to upload the coding questions advanced part or basic parts or interview questions or anything if you want me to upload any other companies videos as well then let me know in the comment section so i'll give importance to your comment okay now let me discuss what chapters you should give importance for tcs and qt 2026 that's uh, let me just discuss what are the repeated chapters they are asking from that is ages okay ages averages percentage then compound interest and simple interest probability okay then ratio and proportion then uh, combination and permutation then data interpretations very important all of these chapters are very important and quadratic equations like these are very important very very important questions time and work profit and loss so these are the hot topic hot quants chapter you can prepare through which will be very much important and repeated asked from this okay hey you ready for the future tech no you have this here with premium prep materials no need to fear cognizant accenture tcs and more we'll get you ready open up that door now let me discuss the latest questions which they have asked to the TCS NQT 2025 batch that might be repeated and most of the time TCS doesn't repeat but the similar questions asked by the TCS NQT team. So I hope you will give importance whatever questions you are going through. Okay, just one clarification that all the options are being shown in the screen will not be always proper. Okay, uh, our answer can be different from the options being shown. Okay so the question is the present ages of a and b are in the ratio 8 is to 7 after 12 years the ratio becomes 11 is to 10 now the question what is the present age of a you have to find that there can be multiple approaches to solve the problem i'll show two approaches one is generic and one is shortcut tricks so generic problem solution is that just assume the value of a and b like 8x and 7x after 12 years their ages will be like plus 12 plus 12 equal to 11 and 10 this is given in the question right just solve the problem and get the value of x you will get the output like x probably will be equal to 4 and if you just multiply with 8 then you will get the value of a and you will just get the value of b multiplying by 7 with 4 right so that is 28 for this case 32 okay this is the generic way now if you want to solve in using a shortcut tricks how to solve that so at first the values are 8 and 7 right now it is getting increased to 11 and 10 how many times not times but added to plus 3 here also plus 3 now just in 12 years it's increased by 3 it's increased by 3 the same right okay if value 3 is increased in 12 years then value 1 will be increased in how much years 12 by 3 that is equal to 4 now if you if you want to find the value of a in the current age current year then the value will be 4 into 8 that is 32 and value of b will be 7 into 4 that is 28 so that's the shortcut trick you can use to solve the problem you can see the options are not shown in the screen actually i have got these from a random channel so i cannot show that okay now next question is from blood relations so this is important chapter from logical reasoning okay you can give important i'll just show all the important chapters in the next video just watch this right now okay p's wife is q right so q is female indicate this by minus and indicate this as couple okay so p's wife is q r is brother of q so r is brother of q so whenever they are siblings just draw this okay and r is father of s r is father of s 
so just draw this like this so that we can assume we can assume who is related to whom and which relation okay t is sister of s t is sister of s so we can draw this like this okay how is p related to t p is t's whom that is uncle right because father's brother okay so that's the thing you have to understand so uncle will be the correct option so let me go to the next question the next question is from percentage of population the population is 1 lakh and it increases by 15 percent in the first year then by 20 percent in the next year what will be the total population after 20 years sorry two years so there are multiple ways to solve the problem still i am just solving with the generic one and the shortcut tricks i'll just give you the both if you have already gone through the latest video regarding percentage you can solve this using the shortcut tricks but still if you have not please go through those it will be very much helpful for you okay now let me just show the answer as just before that i want you to have the base prime materials available for tcs and qt in which you will get all the numerical ability questions reasoning verbal ability advanced aptitude advanced coding mock test interview experience all the things you need to prepare you can see people have given 4.8 stars to our materials so please go through that it will be very much helpful for your upcoming drive you can see the feedback of students provided below thousands of uh, students are getting through this so please go through that the link is provided in the description box or in the comment section it will be helpful for you okay now let me just show the generic one at first so at first the population is 1 lakh okay and it increases by 15 percent so if i increase this by 15 percent then it will become and what's the shortcut tricks to get any percentage that is let's say this is the hundred percent okay hundred percent of one lakh is one lakh okay and fifty percent is half that is fifty thousand so what is one hundred fifty percent that is one lakh fifty thousand right now what is fifteen percent just remove one zero from here okay we'll get the fifteen percent of the total value that is 15,000 okay so this is the shortcut rates so 15% of this value is equal to 15,000 okay and what is this like next value is 1 lakh 15,000 is the current value okay now the population has been increased by 20% what will be the value of 20% in this case now the shortcut tricks is see 100% of this value is 1 lakh 15,000 okay what is the 200 percent that is 1 lakh 30,000 sorry 2 lakh 30,000 now if i want to get the 20 percent just remove one zero from here okay that is only 23,000 so 23,000 is the value after increasing 20 percent so just add this value 0, 0, 0, 8, 3, 1. okay so this is the updated value we got after two years after increasing 15 percent and 20 percent so now you can directly point to the option c okay now let me just show the shortcut tricks that is whenever there is a sequential increase in percentage the shortcut trick to solve that a plus b plus a b by 100 so this is the shortcut tricks you can remember so value of a is 15 here value of b is 20 that is the percentage which is being increased then 15 into 20 by 100 so just 5 into 3 will get 20 38 okay 38 percent if you increase then you will get the total value of uh population after two years so 38 percent of 1 lakh is directly 1 lakh 38 000 it's easier to get the answer right so i hope you understood now let me go to the next question so the next question is from logical reasoning odd one out identify the odd one from the following h b b p k f j d and r l whenever you are going through the verbal reasoning questions just remember the place value of each character each alphabets so h b right h is eight eight height eight okay 
d is 2 so 8 minus 2 is equal to 6 v vanadium 22 and p that is 16 so 22 minus 16 is equal to 6 kf kings 11 punjab 11 minus f f is 6 that is equal to 5 jd j geo geo j10 okay so this is 10 minus d4 that is also 6 rl right to vote 18 minus l 12 okay so that is equal to also 6 so now the difference we get at kf 11 minus 6 that is 5 but it is not suitable in the following order so we'll just pick out kf as the correct answer this is the odd one from the following okay now let me go to the next question i'll give one quiz question to you as well a can complete a work in 18 days b can do it in 15 days b worked for 10 days then left in how many days a can do the remaining work by alone okay so at first whenever we are solving time and work work and time problems just get the efficiency of each uh, character okay each man so a can do certain work in 18 days b can do a certain work in 15 days now what's the total task they're doing that is lcm of 15 and 18 that is equal to 90 right now what is the efficiency of a in one day that is 90 by 18 efficiency is 5 unit per day efficiency of b is 90 by 15 that is equal to 6 unit per day now if b worked for 10 days so how much work he has done already that is 6 into 10 60 unit of works has been done already now what is the total task that is 90 unit what is the remaining task 90 minus 60 that is 30 unit right so now the remaining task will be done by a alone a do a does 5 unit per day so remaining work will be done by 30 by 5 days that is equal to 6 days i hope you understood the option a is the correct here i hope you understood guys if you have faced any issue if you have any queries then let me know in the comment section so i'll try to assist you okay now the next question is this from population again here the same concept will be used if you have gone through the last question then you will be able to solve this problem within few seconds so just let me use the shortcut tricks which we have used earlier the population of a village is 2,20,000 in the present year. It increased by 10% in the next year and again by 20% in the following year. What will be the total population after two years? What shortcut we have used there? That is, whenever there is a sequential increase in percentage, the calculation formula will be A plus B plus A into B by 100. Now, resultant percentage is 10 plus 20 plus 10 into 20 by 100 to to show 32 percent if you just increased over 2 lakh 20 thousand you will get the desired output 32 percent of 2 lakh 20 thousand will be equal to so 300 percent of this value is equal to 6 lakh 6 thousand right now if i just calculate 30 percent then it will be equal to 66,000 and how to calculate the 2% we have already calculated 30% now we have to calculate 2% so 10% of this value equal to 2 to triple zero and uh, this is 10% now 20% of this value will be equal to just double of it right so that is 44,000 and now if we just calculate 2% just remove 1 okay 1 0 4400 so just add this value 4400 it will be equal 4 0 7 70400 just add this value with 2 lakh 20000 will get 2 lakh 90400 so this is the shortcut tricks you can use to get the total population after Two years when there is a sequential increase of percentage okay also you can uh, also you can use the same shortcut tricks when there is a sequential increase or decrease randomly okay so the next question is this given the expression c has b plus p mod 
T and S, where has indicates brother plus indicates wife and mod indicates father and indicates sister. How is B related to S? So just simply draw the diagram, you will get the result. So C indicates uh, C, C is the brother of B. C is brother of B. Okay, C plus and B plus B. B is wife of P. Okay, so it is negative. B is wife of P. And P mod T mod indicates father. So P is father of T. Okay. P is father of T. P is plus. Okay. And indicates sister. So T and S. T is sister of S. T is sister of S. So T is negative. Now the question is how is B related to S. So B is here. S is here. So S father is P and B is wife of P. Now B is mother of S. So the correct answer will be actually mother but this is not in the option. Okay. The correct option is actually mother. I hope you understood. So this much of discussion actually I had to do in this today's section. So if you love this video guys please subscribe this channel watch the playlist regarding any content you want and let me know which content you want more in the upcoming time i love to give more values on those okay so thank you for today's lesson guys and don't forget to go through the materials which we have already there in the top mid data slash techno thank you please subscribe to techno uf and don't forget to like and share with your friends